let's talk about um, iPhone 13. To me, that was the that was sort of the next thing on the uh, the list here, because that is that is um, that th- to me the 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 not pro iPhone 13 is the thing that really sort of stood out to me as the next thing on the list. Uh, I'm kind of blown away with with well. I'm blown away. I'm happy. I don't want to say I'm blown away. I'm happy that they are retaining the mini size um, because I I am super happy with the mini uh, as a size. I know that they're not selling lots of them. I'm a little worried that this might be the last of the minis that we see. And I, 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 I had hoped that they would have made the mini a pro iPhone, not a regular iPhone to see if more people would buy the mini. If it came with the better cameras, that was, that was sort of my, you know, my, my selfish hope because I thought maybe that would preserve the mini size going forward. Um, Um, I'm with you on that. So yeah, I like, uh, like you, I like the mini form factor. Um, so now, so they now have two models. So it's the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 mini, which last I checked, I believe there are four models of the iPhone 12. Is that correct? I thought well, there were. Um, no, there's kind the of. 12 and the 12 mini and then the 12 pro and the 12 pro yes. max. So okay, it's so the there same. are four, there are the four lineup's models. The same. Correct. So they've kind of limited it to two models, right? No, this is exactly the same as what it was with the 12 that we have the 12 oh. and the 12 mini. And then we had the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. And with the 13, we had the we have the 13 and the 13 Mini. And then mm. the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. So oh, it's, it's okay. the same. I it's that. the same as what we saw last year. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, there is the, the Pro bifurcation of the, uh, you know, the Pro or not Pro bifurcation. And there's mm. two on either side of that line. So, um, you know, but this... Um, the the 13 better battery life because largely because of the 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 new chip in there i i think is mm-hmm. the you know i think that's the big change that allows better battery life is is right um, the a15 the so, a15 okay. bionic that's right yeah yeah so and the display brighter display they they call it the super retina xdr display 28% yep 28% brighter mm, i know that's always good <laughs> yeah yeah, 800 nits is the outdoor brightness, which is, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, we will, it's the um, A15 Bionic now is a six core CPU with two high performance and four high efficiency cores. And then uh, uh, how, how many GPU cores did it have? Four GP, four six. core GPU. Oh, I thought it was six. It's a six core CPU, four core GPU. Right, right. Is right. what's in it. And then a 16 core neural engine. Uh, and I'm just going through my notes here. I'm sharing them on the video if you want to watch along. But these are the notes I took. Um, I call them the notes I took. They are uh, actually the things that I posted to liveblog.macobserver.com. But they make for great notes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the, the, the A15 Bionic, uh, y- you know, better, faster. I, I like the, um, you know, they, they, it's a 12 megapixel wide camera and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera on the back of the well, the iPhone and the iPhone mini. So the two non pro models, um, and they've got, uh, sensor shift across the lineup, which is pretty good. Uh, that new stabilization sensor, which, yeah. Uh, and what else? Like. Yeah. 1.7 micron sensor, 47% yep. more light. So bigger and better. Yeah. Mm. The cameras get, and this might be what you were talking about before, John, it, the cameras it, all, across the board get cinematic mode, which, which I, you know, I, I do, I both do and don't buy my iPhone for the camera. It is the camera I use. It's the only camera I use. I'm not a crazy picture taking person, mm-hmm. um, but I like to have a decent camera with me. And so, you know, will I be using cinematic mode? Me? Probably not. Uh, it, you know, I'm not going to be filming movies on my phone, but, but it was a cool little demo that they showed uh, with the uh you know, with the, with the cinematic mode, it's worth, it's worth watching where it it's doing some intelligent tracking. Essentially think about it as portrait mode for video. Mm-hmm. That's, that's sort of the right, right way to look at it. Um, but yeah, yeah. the thing is, uh, I don't know about you, but 
I'm not convinced I need to upgrade to the 13. I'm pretty well, happy we'll with t- my We're going to talk about our shopping list at the end of this. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, we're both breaking the rules here. It's like, like we both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, well, it, it, perhaps the, the way to, to acknowledge that is to say it, the upgrade, so certainly the upgrade to the iPad mini, that's a, that's a huge mm. evolution of that product. Yes. This is, um, the iPhone 12 mini, the iPhone 12 slash mini to the iPhone 13 slash mini is an incremental mm. upgrade, right? It, it's Agreed. got some, some, it's got some things, but it's not huge, uh, mm-hmm. for sure. So yeah, I'm, I, 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 I agree with that sentiment. Um, okay. so yeah, 